Recently, I had a client ask me to price out about 17 acres of beautiful waterfront in the center of the island. So what I initially do here is I send him the market sales data from our MLS. That's how we generate an asking price is based on what has already sold, not what is currently being asked for. Many of those properties could have been on the market for decades and are unrealistic. So essentially my response to this question will be in this video today. Before we get to that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. So essentially the prices for waterfront property are all over the place. For this specific example, I took all the sales in the last 12 months one year, over 10 acres in size. And the range will absolutely astound you, as they should astound me, but I've been seeing this for decades. The range of the sales prices for waterfront property in PEI over 10 acres over the last year was between $47,000 and $475,000. And some of those sales are really odd and they have no justification. And that's because these properties are typically being purchased on a motion, or maybe it's next to the family farm, or they own the land around here, or, or they fell in love with the beach. It could be a multitude of different things, but there's certainly not an equation based on even location acreage, amount of water frontage, type of beach. These properties are being bought in emotion. We all know how emotion affects markets. Just look at the stock market today in 2022. So that's basically it in a nutshell. How do you price a property like this? Number one question is you ask the vendor or the owner how quickly they want to sell or what their timeline is. And depending on the timeline, you come up with a plan to basically do a reverse or what is known as a Dutch auction. You started at a high number, you test the market, assuming the marketing is in place and it's excellent, we can remove that from the equation so we know it's only the price. You look at your timeline, you figure out when you're going to adjust prices either on a table or as a response of inquiries, showings, or offers. So that's it. I really appreciate you watching this video and the channel. Be sure to subscribe, press the little thumbs up button if you have any questions about Prince Edward Island real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.